Well, hello everybody. Do you want to hit your wedges a lot more crisp when hitting pitch shots? Do you want to be able to spin the ball a little bit more? Well, you're going to want to check out this little practice technique that I like to use. And you're going to want to repeat this because this is going to really help you make that better contact. The idea for this video came in a lesson yesterday. I had one of my students, thank you, Hunter, uh, ask me, hey, how do I spin my wedges more around the green when hitting pitch shots? And my answer was simple. I said, well, you got to learn to hit the ball more solid. And that's the problem with majority of golfers is that you don't hit the ball solid every single time. Therefore, you can't predict how that golf ball is going to react. And what I mean, you know, you catch it a little bit heavy. You're not putting any spin on it. It's going to dump up on the green and it might roll out. You catch that thing a little bit thin one time and it's going to scream a little low and it's going to go too far. So when you're not hitting it solid, you also don't know how big a swing to make because you don't know how far the ball is going to fly. So it just makes pitching the golf ball a little more difficult. So this little drill, this little practice technique is going to help you to hit more solid shots. And let me show you what it is. Well, I'm over here near our practice green, obviously near the parking lot as well. And I like to come right over here and there's a bare spot right here. You can see I'm just standing and it is hard dirt. So hard pan that I'm going to stand here and hit pitch shots off of. Now, why you say, why would I want to hit pitch shots off of hard pan? <laughs> it forces you to learn to have solid contact. You hit this thing a little bit fat, your club's gonna bounce into that golf ball and you can tell immediately that you hit it fat. You catch it thin, you're zinging one real long. So get yourself on some hard pan and just stand over there. Use your pivot, nice, quiet, soft arms and learn to hit that ball solid. Here we go. Okay, thin one right there. Terrible right off the bat. This is work on your nerves a little bit too, folks. Okay, not a good shot to start with, but here we go. I'm just standing in here. Okay, a little better, still a little bit low, a little thin. Okay, a little, probably a little too much hands in there. Soften them up a little. Okay, a little all ball right there. So as I'm standing here, I understand immediately what kind of shot I've just hit by the feel, okay? And I haven't hit a solid one yet. Let's give this one a try. A little fat that time. You might've been able to heard the thud click, thud it on the ground. So a very difficult drill, okay? But if you take your time, that was better. If you go at it nice and easy, and if you're just patient, you're just standing around here working on contact, okay? I'm just perfecting my contact on the golf ball. A little fat on that one. One last one right here, okay? Then I'll give you a close up. Another fat one. Very difficult drill, folks, but it's gonna help you a lot. Let me give you a close up. So, as you can see in this close up, it's just a bare dirt patch, nothing fancy. Okay, let me see if I can hit one solid here. Oh, that's the best one yet. That was a nice, crisp little sound. Okay, a little thin on that one. Let's do one more. It's evident that I need to be standing over here hitting these shots. Okay, pretty good one right there. Well, that's it. It's just that simple. Find yourself some hard pan and stand there and hit pitch shots off of it and just keep doing it until you can start hitting it solid. Once you start hitting it solid, pay attention to what it feels like in your golf swing. Then when you get out on the golf course, just repeat that feel and you're gonna be hitting a lot more crisp wedges. You're gonna get a little more spin on that ball. You're gonna be able to control your distance a lot better, which is obviously gonna help you score so much more. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to this channel, um, I just give simple golf instruction here. Um, a lot of times like this one, we got to be creative, okay, come up with innovative ways to help you fix your game. So if you like that type of stuff, you might want to hit that subscribe button and keep watching my content. For you that, for all of you that are returning uh, viewers, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.